This weekend brings the Indianapolis Walk to End Alzheimer's. The event aims to raise money and awareness about the disease. Natalie Sutton is the executive director of the Indianapolis chapter of the Alzheimer's Association. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Are you well rested? I mean, this is a big week for you. <laughs> it is a big week, but it's a it's a really fun week too. We get to connect with so many of our constituents this week. You get go into it with some momentum as well, and the, the overall battle against Alzheimer's. Kind of tell us where the state of the art is, the state of the science is right now. Yes. Well, um, so just the, earlier this year, the a drug received full FDA approval and there is access for that treatment, uh, which is one of the first of its kind that can slow the progression of mm -hmm. Alzheimer's disease. So, you know, we, we do have a lot of work to do to um, pursue access, to ensure early diagnosis and detection, uh, which will make it possible for people to benefit from this treatment. Do you get the sense that it, it builds enthusiasm when it, you're not close to the finish line, but the, for the first time in a long time, maybe you can sense it there in the Yes, distance. it's like we've crossed a mile marker, right? Yeah. And um, we do have a lot of optimism for where the science is headed with this uh, new treatment. Also, there's just a lot in the pipeline. Lily's there's a lot the pipeline, happening yeah. in research. And so we are feeling some momentum. And um, the first certainly allows for the second and the third and beyond. And still a long way to go in research, but we do feel hope. If things go well this weekend with the weather, for instance, you might be able to also push forward the fundraising. How'd you do last year compared to how well you want to do this year? Yes. Well, last year was a record-breaking year for mm -hmm. the Walk to End Alzheimer's here in Indianapolis. We raised over a million dollars for the first time ever. Uh, we are, in fact, doing even better this year. Uh, we're about to cross that one million dollar mark now, Already heading into the weekend. Um, but our goal is 1.27 million. And the reason those dollars are important is that they do help to advance research, also provide care and support services for people living with the disease, and help the association advocate. Yeah, there are two obvious issues, the folks who are dealing with it right now and then those who hope to help in the decades to come. Right, yeah, there's, there's a lot of need for those now in the later stages, for all those who will be diagnosed in the future, and a lot of work to do. Let's get into the where's and why's and how's and everything. Uh, when's the walk? How can we be part yes. of it? Well, this Saturday, September 30th, it's at Michael A. Carroll Stadium mm -hmm. on IUPUI's campus. We partner with Indy 11 on the venue. And uh, come at 9 a.m., you can pre-register uh, via the website. I'm sure you'll put a link out there. and. Uh, we, we welcome all in the community, young and old uh, families, join us on walk day, and it should be a great day. All right, procrastinators, can we sign up the day of? You can. We'd prefer that you pre-register, sure. but you can certainly come on Saturday if you, uh, if you don't want to commit early. All right, Natalie, <laughs> thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. We appreciate it. Of course, uh, it's 848 right now, and uh, there are a lot of reasons here at News 8 that we watch this uh, closely as well, Lena. Yes, Scott, that's correct. So karaoke for a cause, and if we can switch that video over, we you may reckon okay well, we'll just look at us so Tara, long story short you may recognize that some of our uh we had a news aide kayla sullivan who was out there and you also took part in an event that was helping to raise money for the event that we just showcased yeah so alzheimer's uh very close to my heart my dad has early onset Alzheimer's. He just turned 68 this month. Okay. And we held a fundraiser. It was a karaoke fundraiser. Mm -hmm. And let's take a look here at uh, Kayla. Let's give them something to talk about. <laughs> and, you know, we were talking about this. This is an effort that is near and dear to many of us. I know yeah. Kayla and I, have, unfortunately, share the same mm -hmm. reality of losing a grandparent to this. Mm -hmm. uh, so very happy to see it be supported in a variety of different yes. ways. And hopefully, while I know we need the rain, I hope that it's dry for the walk this weekend. I, so far, okay, looking good. I will be there with my family. Mm -hmm. We are going to be walking.